Hey there, welcome to the new episode of Talks with Sam. Uh, that's me. And today I want to talk about what's the best country to live in. Um, because it's not that straightforward and you might find many recommendations, but they're mostly uh, bullshit. So I would love to motivate you today to find your own best country to live in. Uh, so, there's no one best country to live in, honestly, and the most important is what matters to you. Um, if you have certain values, so to me, uh, for example, one of my strength, strongest value is freedom. And so I want to live in a sort of free country, but uh, when we are discussing it with friends who are libertarians and uh, from what I was observing, so I do not think that the economical freedom always colorates with uh, social freedom. Actually, maybe to the contrary. So when you have countries where you might be socially, let's call it free, uh, depending on what does it mean for you, like maybe uh, let's say that you can stay that you know you can uh, state that whatever you're the uh, your gender is a power bank whatever so uh, now I, I do not laugh about this because I think it's a serious matter but uh, like to sort of like seek acceptance but actually pointing out what does it do? It's actually just pointing out to the differences, which only causes more uh, disrespect, honestly, uh, which is a, an interesting paradox. But yeah, so I do not think that the current narrative of, uh, for example, how this gender topic is communicated, uh, that it actually leads to more acceptance and respect, but to the contrary. Um, uh, so the better is uh, seeking the acceptance, uh, but not through requiring it or pushing people to to accept you, uh, but uh, just like having this as a norm in the society. Um, I've been speaking more about this in my Ayn Rand speech when I was at the Ayn Rand Center in Georgia, so you can check it in my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so I won't go deeper into this, but like uh, you have countries that are economically free and you might consider that there are not that many social freedom as, yeah, like social freedoms. Uh, but uh, when you observe them, so actually the only thing people are wanting there, that they might be accepting, but anyway, like, uh, they are not talking about the differences. So you might not feel socially free in a way like going for protests or I don't know what uh, march um, in, na in the name of, let's say, your religion or your whatever it might be. Uh, but the reality is that no one is actually going to fight for something because no one really cares in a way that uh, people in economically free countries rather mind their business sort of um, and uh, I mean for you the idea to figure out for yourself is like what is more important for you to actually do uh, because, for example, for me, I realized, and we were discussing this with my other friends who are libertarians and great thinkers and doers, that to us, the economical freedom is actually more important than the, uh, the social freedom in a way that if you have an economically free country, and now I mean really economically free country, so there the idea is that then you can pretty easily do the business you want what is the business you want to do it's actually self-expression now i don't talk about employment but a business that is formed based on your values and that is authentic to you that's a form of self-expression uh, or should be in the best way and if this sort of fulfills yourself uh, in a certain way, you know, I don't have to point out like 
hey, uh, I want more woman, whatever, equality or something. I do not point out at my difference uh, between me and someone else uh, because I can do business. And in the business I set up myself, I set up the rules myself. And so it's up to me and I hand over much more responsibility, but also that means freedom and uh, opportunity to myself. But uh, I do not say this as this, you should you know, sort of hand over to yourself, but something to think of, like what is important to you? If you want a socially free country, go to Argentina. I haven't been there yet, but my friend was telling that, yeah, it's like very uh, socially free. But at the same time, uh, the economics over there is very bad and people live like there is no tomorrow because of a very high inflation. So all, your, all their money are pretty much, you know, worthless and it leads to many other problems so uh yeah but i, I want to visit the country surely someday but honestly to me i prefer to be in places where that are more economically free um i love georgia where i live i love um i pretty much like dubai i really like malaysia it also has uh some low taxation uh, modes so you might be potentially curious about that um, and of course I really really want to visit someday Singapore so this is like you know places to be uh, to me but again like uh, you will have some other difficulties in all these countries uh, so there was the best country to live in there is no best country to live in for you I really invite you to travel and to explore and to seek, you know, to observe yourself. How does it feel to you when you are in certain environment, when you are somewhere where, you, when you travel somewhere? Uh, how does this place fit you? Um, uh, how does it work for you? For example, I love Asia, but what I really miss is the walkability. The walkability is really bad. Like you need to have a scooter, but I love to have a scooter or a bike and just drive around. And for this, you know, Asia is perfect. But if you want to walk, if you want to go for a run outside, you will have a hard time. You will be running around a road, you will meet dogs and so on. So it's not very pleasant, but it's, it's again, it's up to you to figure this out. So what is important to you? Um, um, Asia, on the other hand, has a very great variability. It offers a lot of services, uh, a lot of products and so on. You can find there anywhere, anything you want, anytime. Most likely you will have 24 seven stuff pretty easily. Uh, I don't know, like it, it's just working to me. So I, I like it. At the same time, someone might think that, oh, you know, it can be too messy or, uh, I don't know, like it, it, it doesn't have to work for you. But for example, uh, what I think is very important from the long term perspective is the capability of you to be uh, integrated into the society. And now you might think, okay, but uh, I can always integrate among expats, among other foreigners who are relocated into the country indeed but i think that at some point to have this really like feeling of belonging it's better for you to actually uh fit also with the locals and there are countries where you will never really have local friends uh, i think it's mainly uh central and northern europe you will have hard time there and i don't say it to judge it i say it for you to know that uh, okay, you might feel okay there, but you have to count that you will actually talk just to other foreigners who are located into the country and you will have also a very limited perspective on the country. Uh, if you are a foreigner, for example, in Georgia, you will have a very easy time to get, uh, you know, integrated into uh, not only f among foreigners, but actually also the locals. And from long-term perspective to feel 
sort of this like warmth and acceptance from the society this is very important for you to feel um, like relaxed in a way that you know you have this feeling of belonging but yet you still can fulfill this via some uh, community and so on so this is totally worth it but I mention it because it's very important also what should fit you are the accommodation opportunities um, it depends on your salary it depends on the country where you want to be but uh, for example, I would like to live in France in a small flat for high price, uh, very small studios, old buildings, um, no, <laughs> no air conditioning, stairs, no lift, whatever. I prefer newer buildings, I prefer nice facilities, I love Asia for you know, having a pool there, having a gym and the residency. You might think, I don't need this, sure, but like at some point it really gives you some sort of comfort for half the price and, or not half the price, even like compared to France, it's like five times the price difference. And so you might think, do I really need to live in, you know, let's say this France. So yeah, uh, and one more thing I would love to mention are something called like free cities or private cities and so on so those are those are like privately built cities among the world uh, we may think that one of such let's say projects is liberland as well uh, but yeah there are really many such uh, places you might search for free cities foundation as well they have their conference in prague uh, i think this fall and um it's like projects community based project where like the community is self-dependent more or less so you might consider this to observe or to visit and uh, yeah the answer to what's the best country for you to live in is uh you to put the work in observe and find a place for you to live where you will feel the best and it will have a lot of benefit for you if you want to learn the local language for example you will learn it very easily um, if you want let's say to live at a seaside you can live at a seaside if you want to have you know long days and sunny days and so on you can have this if you want to eat like local fruits tropical fruits and so on this is what you can have. Uh, yeah, so choose a place that works for you because there are many beautiful places around the world and uh, we, the, the migration have, was always a norm. People were uh, moving from one country to another. It's just the state that tries to keep, make us believe that we belong to one and only place and we have to stay there forever because the most the more difficult we find to relocate the more likely you know we will not relocate and the more likely we will stay and keep paying the taxes in one country that might not be the best for us so it doesn't really make sense um yeah and there are many opportunities in the world and today is it's, it's the best time for you today to observe to explore and to see what works for you and to find the best place for you on earth because it's never been easier really to pack your few suitcases and even or one suitcase it doesn't matter and just to move to another country okay good luck i wish you to find the best place on earth for you cheers see you next week